Galaxy Tab is a great device, and like I said, it fits into your pocket, um, whether it's my jean pocket or whether it's my jacket pocket. Hey, this is Adriana for Phone Dog. I'm here at the Samsung Experience Store here in New York City, where they just announced the Galaxy Tab. It is a 7-inch TFT touchscreen tablet with a Hummingbird processor, Android 2.2, and Flash 10.1 uh, supports. So this is a 7-inch Samsung Galaxy Tab. Weighs 12 millimeters thick. Weighs about the same as a can of soda. It's designed for a mobile experience. So the idea is that you'd be able to uh, type on it very easily on the go. Let's just reply here. So this has the full Samsung keyboard, easy to thumb type. This also has swipe. So for one simple one-handed operation. Oh, no, I'm good. Really good email experience. The email also rotates. Let's just get out of that message. And so I can see my inbox and then the message all together. So that's an example of one of the applications that we customize. Let me also show you the Samsung Media Hub. This is our new media service. It allows you to buy TVs and movie over Wi-Fi. It has watch instantly features. So once you buy the content, you can start watching it basically immediately. And uh, you'll be able to share the content between the tablet and the Galaxy S. Uh, in the browser, so there's a number of rich games and video available. Um, so it makes for a really great ebook reader. So this is just an example, thanks to the lightweight and size, just a natural for reading books on the go. You can sync it to a Kindle account or a Nook account, whatever uh, is your uh, service of choice. This also has a rear camera with flash. 3.2 megapixels, so video recording, also DVD quality video, and a front-facing camera. And uh, Quick is just one example of a service that you'd be able to use um, to do video chat with a front-facing camera. And probably we can make one of those devices over there ring. So somebody will answer it. Just hit answer. There you go. Hello? Just touch it. There you go. So we're doing a live video call with some other journalists. Hey, how are you? Hey, phone dog. That's right. And who are you with? Uh, Android Community Inside. All right. Nice to meet you, dude. So there's a quick jump to different home screens, all the Google mobile services, and uh, we customize the media player, everything. So I'm really excited. Now, do, uh, do certain apps have to be optimized for Android 2.2? So almost every app will work. We tested a very large number of applications, and many do work, but because the device is not known to the market until today, there are some apps, for example, that don't work yet. Um, and so we think that as soon as people are aware of, uh, of the product, they'll make the quick adjustment to their app to make it fill the full screen. But a, a, a very huge number of applications that were totally unaware of this product came out and they, and they work perfectly from right from the start. So it really has more to do just with how it happens. So this is a, the tablet version of TouchWiz. And uh, on Froyo 2.2, you can customize your shortcuts here, whatever you want to have on that fixed bar. Whoops. This also has Samsung widgets, for example, the daily briefing. There we go. With all the widgets. So it feeds and updates widget, all your Google widgets. Uh, so some Samsung customized ones as well as some Google ones. And uh, we also added a pinch to jump feature. So if you wanted to jump to a different home screen, you'd be able to do that very quickly. One of the cool things we've done here is customize your power controls there. And the other one that I think people really like is orientation lock. So for example, if you're reading a book and you want to lay on your pillow and not have the book tip over, it'll stay oriented right in the portrait orientation or landscape or wherever you like. So that's a really nice little feature. I know that they've made kind of a big deal in the presentation out of Flash 10.1. Mm -hmm. Can we get a demo of uh, a Yeah, Netflix fantastic. So uh, this is an example of a game running Flash. Okay. Let's just, oh, did I do the orientation lock? There we go. Okay. So this is a rich flash game, just an example of a gravity-based game. Let's see, tap that, I think. I don't know how to do it. There we go. So it has some rich games, but let me show you something a little more interesting. 
m.flash.com. Oh. And, uh, Flash.com, there we go. So there's actually two keyboards on this device. This okay. is a swipe keyboard. Okay. But you could also have the Samsung keyboard, which will fill oh. the whole screen. There you go. But the product was actually designed in, uh, for portrait orientation. And so the reason uh, for that, so there's the Samsung keyboard, mm -hmm. and then there's the swipe keyboard. Oh, sorry, I picked the wrong one. There's a swipe keyboard, and the rationale here is that I can hold it in one hand, standing up, not leaning against anything, and I can just go ahead and type really easy. Got it. So, so that's what we just idea. saw is a swipe keyboard, and it's probably sized at about the same as the portrait orientation. So when you turn to landscape, it'll be about that size. But you've got the full size. Right, and that and the reason actually keyboard. for swipe that's better because you don't want to draw across the whole screen. True. You want it to be nice and close and tight. So for easier swipe draw. Excellent. All right. So let's check out some video here. So this is a, a demonstration demonstration site that Adobe put together that just shows off all the power of flash on the device. I like to go to uh, MLB.com. That's just a really great video site. And there's a whole host of rich games, rich media, tons of video. Hopefully our Wi-Fi is not too full here today. And this will play live video for us. First we have to get the requisite advertisement. Oh, I'm, I actually am viewing the ad. Well, it looks good. Yep. And then it should should give us a way to view full screen here. There it is. Well, that was a Samsung Galaxy Tab. This is Adriana for Phone Dog. Thanks for watching. Thank you.